Hello everyone, um, it's a bit weird. Real and Sorry here today. Cuz, we're gonna be doing a bit of a challenge. Um, I've been seeing around, floating around the YouTube, so I actually saw, saw it from Gemini Tay. It's a wheel picker challenge. So, basically, the idea is we take a wheel, give some inputs, and then tells us what we're gonna build. So we're gonna do that today. All right, I now have a wheel pulled up. So we're gonna be first rolling for the size of the tree. Like small, medium, large, or Alpha Craft, big tree, like big tree. <laughs> so let's see what size the tree is gonna be. Large, okay, I can work with that. I can work with that. The next thing we need to be going for is the biome. Now, we're gonna be doing this in the standard world, which the only thing this is gonna change for us is actually gonna be the grass color. So, Let's see what color our grass is going to be. It's also going to change the leaf color, too. So, let's see. Badlands. Okay. We're going to have some dry grass. Next up, what block are we going to be using for the trunk of the tree? Um, so, we got, like, ores, terracotta, wool, leaves, wood planks, stone, concrete, and sandstone. No wood logs. So, this is going to be interesting. See what we get. Or this is gonna be an interesting tree. I can already tell this is gonna be really interesting. And you do this again for the branches. So same thing, but now for the branches. So hopefully we get something that meshes well with some ores, because that's gonna be weird. Although we do have access to the deep slate. Wait, the branches gonna be made of leaves. This is this is gonna be one interesting tree. And now, last one, the leaf color. So I got a bunch of just colors in here. We're going to see what color our leaves are going to be. Um, I mean, the tree can't really get any weirder, right? Red? Okay. Surprisingly, that's not the weirdest thing about the tree. <laughs> that is not the weirdest thing. <laughs> this is going to be one interesting tree. With that all decided, we are now in the tree world. I have taken the time to make this into a Badlands biome. So if we push F3, you can see that it is in fact a Badlands biome. And yeah, the the the, uh, the grass, yeah, it's kind of weird. But what I did find out is, so these are mangrove roots. Now, if I were to grab that and just, just put it over here, these look really similar. So it's actually kind of a good thing because all the leaves look like branches, except, except these guys. We, we, don't, we, don't, we don't talk about those, um, but we don't have to use all of them. So this is just our palette. This is what we have to choose from. Now for the actual trunk, I mean, this is going to look really crazy, to be honest. And I'm thinking I'm just going to narrow it down. I have the batch just only deep slate. Only the deep slate ones, because these look a lot darker and it's going to blend better with the brown than the stone colors. I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do. Now it is time to start building the tree. For the trunk, I'm starting out with a smaller curve, then increasing the size closer to the ground, and then adding a few additional large branches that come out of it, since a trunk realistically is just a large branch. Once I'm happy with the shape, I'm going to use world edit to replace some of the coal with other ores just to give it some variation and a pop of color. For the branches, I tried out using World Edit at first, but they just ended up looking too perfect and that's not what I want. Um, so I ended up deciding to freehand them. I just chose a spot start and then placed the leaves falling out a small path. That felt kind of like a good direction. And then I did that over and over again. I was satisfied with the number of branches. Also, to make the branches look like they had more structure, I started with mangrove, then went to oak, and then finished with birch. Since the former has more of the block fully textured, so they look like the stronger part of the branch, as opposed to the birch, which is mostly just air. For the leaves, I further narrowed down my blocks to just stripped mangrove, netherrack, and red terracotta. And then, then using world edit, I created a sphere using these blocks in air to create the leaves and like a macro scale to how the normal leaf block looks with a lot of air gaps in it. And then I place a sphere all over the tree 
and somehow th this tree actually came out looking decently good even with this bizarre block palette so let me know what you think of this tree if you want to see more videos like this one we're actually getting really close to 500 subscribers so make sure to subscribe maybe we can get 500 by the end of the year that'd be that'd be absolutely amazing but anyways thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you next week